All right, now I'm going to talk about the growl. It's an effect that you can use on a saxophone. Um, basically, what you're going to be doing is playing a note. It kind of works better with lower notes. And you're also going to be singing into the mouthpiece at the same time. And it takes practice to figure out what notes to sing and what notes to play. A uh, general rule of thumb, you're going to want to play a lower note. Sounds better on lower notes. And when you're humming into it, you can hum the same note you're playing or it can be a completely different note. What's actually projecting is what's coming out of the horn. Usually, when you're, when you're humming, you're not going to really hear that so much um, over the saxophone because the sax is so much louder than your voice is humming, especially when you've got your mouth closed over the mouthpiece. So, Basically, you're going to get a growling effect out of it. Um, you hear this a lot in blues songs. Um, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you. Here we go. Little Pink Panther for, the, for you. So there's a good example of growling. Like I said, the lower notes are, uh, are easier to get a growl out of. And I don't know if you can hear my voice through that, but that's basically I'm just I'm just going into the horn while I'm playing the note and with the growl. So it's a pretty drastic effect, and it's it's great for the ladies. They really like it. I hope you do too.